What's going on everybody? Welcome, it's Saturday, it's Easter weekend and I have the weekend off. So I decided that I would clean my office up and we're gonna have a look at all the stuff that I use in here to create my photos and films with. There's a lot of stuff to go over but get comfortable and let's jump into it. Here we go guys, so as you can see, it's looking not too bad at the moment apart from my little charging station down there. But So this is where I edit everything after a wedding. Let's start from the corner here. Um, this is my dual camera strap. It goes on like this and holds both of my cameras. Um, it's like the Holdfast Moneymaker one you can get in America. I used to have that one and I sold it to a friend and this guy in Tauranga. I'll link his website in the description below, he makes them. The only thing I did was I changed this bracket here so it used to it usually has a round one. I changed it to this one because it doesn't it doesn't pinch on my shirt anymore. A lot of people had issues with that with the moneymaker ones and these ones that they were just pinching on your shirt when you when you pulled the camera down. So dual camera strap. These are a couple of my tripods. This one is just kind of a standard video tripod. I don't have the handle on there at the moment. But yeah, this is a really good one. There should be a model number on here somewhere. This is a Manfrotto 755 XP, and it has a little handle down here you can undo, and then you can level out the ball head, which is really, really handy. This is another one I have. This is my big, big tripod. This one stands over my head. Um, it's really, it's quite heavy and it's really stable, so I don't use it a hell of a lot, but it's really good for like a ceremony if you're just sitting it there filming the whole thing um, from start to finish. No one can sort of bump it out of the way and things like that. Here we have a monopod. This is a Siri monopod. It has a really nice fluid base. Um, this one has the same MVM500 head that I have on my other little tripod there. Uh, really handy just for steady shots. Um, one of my light stands, I've got about four or five more of these. Um, this at the moment is just holding a Yong Nuo um, LED light. These are really good. They put out a fair bit of light and they're really reliable. I haven't had any issues with them. Daylight balanced and yeah, really neutral tone. They don't have any sort of green tint to them or anything like that, which is nice. They can also be powered by battery. So they have, um, they take the Sony video batteries, which is really handy. Uh, or you can buy that little adapter and plug it into the wall. Right, moving down here, this is just a little cupboard. I've got a few hard drives in here. These are really cool. These are SanDisk 480 gig SSD drives, portable SSD drives, and apparently they're kind of semi weather resistant and dust proof, so um, I really like those for editing on the go because they're super, super fast. A couple more hard drives. This is my Google Pixel 2 XL, which I'm not using at the moment. Um, a few wires for sound. Uh, I've got a bit more sound gear that will go over, but they plug into my Zoom recorder. That way I can feed off the venue's audio and record speeches and vowels and things like that when I need to. Here is my little rig you saw the other day that I made up out of parts. So I can put both my cameras on here and record the screen with one of them. Fairy lights. These are awesome. Just little battery powered fairy lights. You can sort of use them at night to create cool effects with photos and things. All right, moving on to my computer. It's a Windows 10 machine. It's quite powerful and it just works really, really well. Spec wise, um, I had it sort of custom made for me. So it has a GTX 1080 Ti graphics card with 11 gig of RAM. It has 64 gig of um, really fast memory. 750 watt power supply. Uh, it has a water cooling radiator in there that cools the CPU, uh, M.2 SSDs, and it's got a whole bunch of SSDs in the back as well. So yeah, super, super fast and really reliable. Um, up here you can see another one of those little SanDisk drives. A few more that I've just been backing up. These are all just drives that I back all my RAWs up to for weddings. What have we got? This is my um, Huawei I think that's how you say it, Android Watch. This is pretty handy for weddings. You can get notifications on the fly without pulling your phone out of your pocket. And then here, this is, I don't actually use this much. This is a, the Wellcom pen for the tablets. I have, a, I have one in the cupboard over there, but I hardly ever use it. Kind of pointless buy there. <laughs> Some Logitech speakers, these, these are okay. They're not amazing, but they work quite well. There's a sub under the desk, but yeah, they sound pretty good. This is a USB 3.1, I believe, card reader. It has micro USB, handy for the drone cards. 
normal SD, um, and obviously, you know, everything else you need there. This is my monitor. It's a 38 inch 4K curved, really color accurate monitor. Really love that, it's a beast. Um, and this one is just a 28 inch LG, um, pretty accurate. Um, I just have emails and things like that on that one whenever I need it. Keyboard and mouse here, I've just got Razer, Razer keyboard and mouse. I just like them, they're nice and clicky, clicky. Down here, I've got a, this is a Surrey humidity cabinet. Must have for um, holding your gear in through, you know, it's quite humid in New Zealand and you can get fungus and stuff like that inside your lenses, which is not ideal. So this just keeps everything nice and cool and it's got a fancy blue light. Nice and dry, sorry I mean, and yeah. I don't have it in there at the moment because I'm about to show you all that, so that's usually where I store all my gear. Here I have a pair of Logitech, I don't know what model they are, I'll put it in the description, but they're just some wireless headphones. I bought them for gaming, which I hardly ever do, but they sound cool. Right, bit of camera gear now. This is a really, really cool gimbal. Uh, this is the Zion Crane 2, not the V2, this is actually the version, the proper 2. Um, that has the focus dial on there, which doesn't work with my camera at the moment, but apparently an update's gonna fix that. And it's just got a little tripod there. This thing gets you some really nice stable shots and it holds a lot of weight. Moving on here, this is my Dell XPS 13. This is the one that just came out in 2017, late 2017. I think there's a new one that just was released last month, but this is a i7. Uh, I think it has a 10, uh, sorry, 1070 GPU, um, SSDs, really 4K touchscreen, really nice and accurate again. Super fast, love it. Not as fast as the Beast, but it's really quick and fast, definitely fast enough for editing on the go. Another little plant, this is fake, I don't know, I just like it. Sits there, looks, looks kind of cool, I don't know. Down here is a bit of a mess at the moment, but this, um, I, I'm planning on sorting out a new system for these, but this is just where I charge my batteries. So I have my drone charger and the Sony batteries and some AAs and things like that. This multi-box is cool. You can also plug USB into it and, and charge like UE booms and things like that. Very handy. Um, here I have, this is another Siri product. This is a, like a carbon fiber Travel tripod, really loves this thing. This, I take I take it to weddings just in case, but it hardly ever comes out. More for um, like landscape photography when I'm traveling around and things. Just really nice and lightweight tripod. Right, moving on. Here I have my big flash. This is an AD600 from Godox. This thing is crazy. It's so powerful. It has a lithium iron battery pack, so completely wireless has radio built into it. It's more than powerful enough to, for anything that you would need at a wedding. Um, I have two of them, which I use in the studio, and yeah, they're just really nice. At the moment, I just have a little beauty dish on here, but um, you know, it just has a Bowen's mount system, so you can put all sorts of soft boxes and stuff on there, whatever you need. Here I have my drone. This is a Phantom 4 Advanced Plus. I did originally have the Phantom 4 Pro, which is basically the same thing. Um, I sold that because I wanted to get the Mavic just for like travel purposes, and I'll probably still get one because um, you can't really take this thing overseas. We we're planning on going to America at the end of the year, and I want to take something over there. But it, um, you know, at the end of the day, this has better image quality by quite a bit. And uh, the reason I got the Plus was because this one has the screen built into it. A uh, nice little touch screen there and you don't, so you don't have to use your phone or a tablet or anything like that. I found sometimes with apps and things you'd you'd find that they would crash or you know and it was just a pain having to use my phone so this one makes it really easy you just turn it you just turn it on turn the controller on and then it's paired and you're ready to go and I got a spare battery for it as well. Batteries last about 25-30 minutes each and yeah great for video does 4k and 60 frames per second and really nice quality photos as well. Right, this is just some office stuff, like I uh, have like account bills and things in there. Here is just a random box of Game Boys, uh, old school Game Boys, which I bought 
off a friend of mine, which I haven't really done much with them, but I don't know, they're just cool. I like them. This is the Ilford paper that I use. So this is Smooth Pearl. Really nice quality paper, really universal, works for all sorts of things. Uh, but I'll show you some prints from that. So that's some pre-cut 5x7s. And then I've got some A4 metallic gloss there and just some more Smooth Pearl and stuff. Here I've got just some photography books. Funny books, I just found Navy training course for photography. That's pretty cool. Um, this is a friend of mine, John McDermott. He's a really, I really love his stuff. Um, he does all the dance photography for the, I think the Auckland Dance Co. Um, but his work is, I just love it. Um, he shoots on Leica and Fuji and he has a Sony as well. Um, but yeah, really skilled photographer. I've got, I bought, I bought a few books of him. Um, yeah, super awesome. Love them. Uh, moving up here, this is my Canon Pro 10S printer. It prints up to A3 Plus, which is these. Um, this, this size is A3 Plus here. Super, super high quality prints. I really love these. Um, and it's just fun being able to print your own stuff, you know. This was um, Steph and Nate's wedding down in, in uh, Wellington, at Sudbury's, that was really cool. Gotta drop those off to them. And I've got some more up here that I, I just print random photos. This is my little girl, Izzy, she's 11. And Mila, she's two and a half, she's crazy. Um, I don't haven't printed any of the boys yet, but. And I've just got some more photos of um, couples that I've printed out. And this is a drawing from my friend Lucas, love this. Good job, mate. I'll link his Instagram in the comments below as well. Right, moving on to the fun stuff. So, these are Godox TT685s. I have an S one, which is um, Sony, and I have a Nikon one from, you know, I had this when I was on Nikon, but it still works with the radio, which is really cool. Um, this is a torch I just use for, you know, all sorts of stuff, torchy things. Um, <laughs> Uh, it, you can get some cool effects of video and photos and stuff with it. It's really, really bright and waterproof as well. It's a Phoenix torch. Um, here I have, this is my little Fuji 645 film camera with a bit of a duct tape bodge job there. I got this for like 40 bucks, but it still works fine and shoots medium format film. Really cool. Here I have my Nikon F100. Most of you probably know what this is. It's a 35mm film camera from Nikon, it has autofocus, takes all the new lenses. I don't think it takes the, the brand new lenses that have the electronic aperture control, but all the other normal Nikon autofocus lenses, it works fine and super reliable camera. Got a good deal on that too, I think it was a couple hundred bucks maybe. Um, here I have a Helios 44-2 lens, which was given to me by a wedding client. Kyle, who's a friend now also, um, really nice of him. Um, that's just really cool lens. Yui Boom, this is the medium one or the small one maybe, I'm not sure, but I take that to all my weddings. We use that when we go on bridal shoots, which is really helpful. I find that when you have music and drinks and things like that on your bridal shoot, that couples really sort of relax a little bit. Um, music really can set the mood, you know? So take a Yui Boom, that's, that's a good tip for the day. Here I have a light meter, which is kind of irrelevant these days, but um, it works really well. I used to have a couple of other old film cameras that I'd use in the studio. Um, and so that worked really well with my speed, with my lights, my flashes. Uh, here I've just got a whole bunch of film that, some Portrait 800 and black and white, some Fuji stuff. Um, this is some HP5 that I've got to develop. I have all the chemicals downstairs. That's really, it's, it can be fun. Um, here, this is my little Fuji. This is an X100T. I really love this thing. I bought it second hand off my mate. Um, it's been around Vietnam and all sorts of crazy places. I use this mostly for um, taking the kids to the park and things like that and just sort of every day, you know, mucking around. It's, it's just a really fun, compact little camera. Um, really cool colors as well. Down here we got one of the big boys. So this is uh, an A7R3 with the um, 55 mils Sony Zeiss. I love this combo. You can shoot just about anything with this and it's a super sharp, super small lens. Um, the other A7R3 as I'm filming on now, and this is a Batiste 18 mm 2.8 Zeiss lens. Really love that one. 
This is a Rode Video Mic Pro, not the new one, this is the older one. Still really, really works well. I'm filming this tour with the Rode Link wireless lapel set. So I have one here in my pocket and the other one is obviously here on my shirt. So this is a Sony battery grip. This fits A7R3 or my A9, which I don't have anymore. Uh, but that holds two batteries in it and it just adds a little bit more grip. I don't use it a lot, but I don't know. Sometimes I like it for video and things like that. I'm kind of used to the small form factor of the cameras now. This is the trigger for my Godox flashes. So this controls these lights and these lights and it controls them all together. You don't have to use a separate one, which is really cool. Um, have all sorts of channels and things like that. Really love it. Lenses, here I have a 24mm Sigma Art 1.4 with the MC11 adapter. Really nice lens, focuses really well. Especially with the new update on Sony, you get all the eye focus and everything. Really good lens. This is the 35mm 1.4 Zeiss, Sony Zeiss lens. Really nice lens, again native. It's quite large but it's not too heavy and it's, and it's super sharp and has a really nice look to it. Now last lens, this is the 85mm G Master 1.4. Just such a beautiful lens. Weather sealed, sharp as 11 aperture blades. Has a focus button on the side. Same with this one, you can de-click this one. So you can turn the click off on the aperture ring, which is really cool for video. You can do that on the 35 as well. But yeah, generally I'll use two combos. So depending on space and just what mood I'm in, I'll use either 24 and 55 one on each body, otherwise I'll use a 35 and 85 if I have lots of room and I want to go a little bit more classic maybe. Um, and I usually use the 85 for the ceremony as well. This thing, if you're switching to Sony, this is really cool. This is a, a finger grip. So this just sits on the camera, you screw it into the bottom like that. As you can see, I just changed that little lug there so I can put my, my um, leather strap um, to hold both of them. It had a different one that came out quite easily. Just adds that extra grip where your finger is. And so if I have quite large hands and it just makes it really, really nice to hold. Definitely um, look into that. It is quite expensive for what it is. I think it's about 200 bucks, but. Right down here, um, this is just a little Sony audio recorder, like a backup one, has a 3.5 mil. It's not red, just a cheap one. But it, you know, again, it works as a backup. This is my Zoom H4n Pro. This thing's a beast. It works really well, super reliable. It has XLR input and quarter inch and even 3.5 on the back, but it just records a really nice sound file. I usually plug this into the venue sound system. So, you know, if they have a mic, I can record the vowels and the speeches and things like that without sort of worrying about anything and get a really nice feed off that. Here I have a fairly new pur uh, purchase. This is, is a small HD five inch monitor plugged into the Sony's. Really cool, makes it really fun and s better for seeing outside when you're videoing. The, the rear screens are pretty good on the camera, on the Sony's, but they could be brighter. So here we have a cage. This is for an A7R2, I believe, but it fits the A7R3. You just can't open the SD door, which is a bit of a pain. But again, the monitor can sit on the front here and you've got a full video rig set up. Really cool for like short films and things like that when you need to attach other microphones to it and cables and things like that. I've just got some cleaning stuff down there. Now, this is a GoPro I just bought the other day, so I'm planning on putting this on top of my camera and filming a shoot. So I'll film like an engagement shoot maybe, or maybe even at a wedding and do some tutorials like that. This is a little piece of copper tube that I use for ring of fire photos. You can't, this lens is too wide to see, but really cool. I'll, maybe I'll do a tutorial on that one day. That's pretty awesome. Here we have, um, this is a Nikon to uh, Sony adapter. And I have another one there, a Metabones one, which has the aperture control on there. Duct tape, got to have duct tape, always handy. Just got some ND filters and polarizers there. Some more landscape filters. These are all Lee, like ND grads and you know, things like that. These hardly ever get taken out of my office these days, but it's fun to have if I go traveling, I'll take them with me if I want to do some landscape shots. Next shelf, we've got some inks. These are all for my Canon Pro 10S. They're about 30 something dollars each, but it takes 10 of them, but they, they don't chew up that fast. It works out quite cheap to do prints and especially at the sort of quality it does. And then I've just got some more strap. That's just a single strap that I use for the Sony if I'm going out myself. Got some batteries, little case for spare batteries. 
This is my atmosphere in a can stuff. This stuff's great. It's pretty much like a smoke bomb in a can, really. It just sprays this sort of mist. I'm not gonna spray it all over this place, but but it doesn't set off smoke, smoke alarms and it's really cool for like strobe effects like this photo. Yeah, really fun stuff to use. Um, here I have a Pelican case with some unorganized SD cards at the moment. This thing's really tough and, and waterproof. So that's just where I put most of my cards. That is a box for my S9 Plus. Love this phone, much better. I love, that was my Google Pixel 2 XL. Real cool phone, but the screen was just kind of weird and it wasn't really color accurate. So, I mean, it didn't really matter, but the S9 Plus is much better. This is my Pelican case. Open this one up. So it doesn't have the foam inside. It has the padded dividers, which you can change around. So this is really good for camera gear or lights. Yeah, I've got another one of those LED panels in here, but that's really cool for like traveling and stuff. You can put all your camera gear in there and then, you know, leave it in the back of your car and it's nice and safe. And you can actually lock it down to your car with a metal cable. So even if they break into your car, they can't take the case, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys. It's important to remember that it's not all about the gear, but if you're doing this full time and you're making money off it and you really want to give your clients the best, if you can buy it, I just would go for the best that you can get, really. I mean, that's why I use Sony. That's why I switched from Nikon. I was using D810s originally, but um, I found just these cameras, the eye focus just blew my mind and along with all the other benefits, obviously, but Put in the comments below if you want to see any individual videos about any of the gear that I featured here. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.